All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and of course also on YouTube if you're watching this in the future. Um, we are going to go ahead and try updating Naya value for Ravnica Allegiance Standard. This is going to be my first time playing Ravnica Allegiance Standard, so um, certainly you know our deck's kind of rough around the edges, especially our sideboard. Um, what we're really kind of thinking here is um, we have Cinder Vines and Spyglass for like the Turbo Fog deck, which I I want to have a good matchup there, or you know have cards for that matchup because our main deck is not too good for it. And we got Rhythm of the Wild in our sideboard for decks with a lot of counter spells to give our creatures, uh, make sure our creatures can't be countered and give them haste. Um, in general, I don't think that's like a, a plan that we necessarily need, so I don't really want Rhythm of the Wild uh, main deck right now. You know, that obviously may change. Um, and I think there's a lot of artifacts and enchantments around there. So I got all these uh, Night of Autumns. Um, and also, I think the life gain is really important against the burn decks. I think the burn decks are probably pretty popular. So want a lot of Knight of Autumns and Clarions also for those aggro matchups. Um, I thought about putting Domri in this deck. Um, I don't I don't think that the, the Domri plus one ability is super valuable for us. Um, because, you know, we're not really a big time beatdown deck. We're really just trying to outgrind opponents. Um, so we're not... We're not like a, a huge beatdown deck, so I, I don't think we need Domri too much. You know, playing Domri and minusing, it's real vulnerable. I, I think I still just like a Johnny a lot. I really like a Johnny with Growth Chamber Guardian. Um, how, you know, Growth Chamber Guardian triggers whenever counters are put on it. So, you know, we can do a Johnny, tick up on the Guardian, it triggers it, go get another Guardian kind of thing. So let's let's give this a try. Thanks, program. All right, this could go well. This could go horribly wrong. Who knows? Let's play some games. Doing good, Rev Daddy. Doing good. Remember, tomorrow I will be having a 12 hour stream with standard tomorrow from 11 to 11 we're celebrating getting to that new emote sub goal that we did earlier in the week and so that's when that 12 hour stream is going to happen is tomorrow today is kind of like our our first kind of try stuff out day and of course, I guess that's what tomorrow will be too. But you know, we'll we'll get uh, a little more finely tuned throughout the process. Oh no! I'm sorry, Druizel. Took a tough loss there. All right, so Branchwalker help us hit our land drops. This. Uh. I think we're going to be okay in this matchup, kind of in general. I like our sideboard. Oh, Hollowed Fountain. That's not what I was expecting. The Vanguard is going to be really tough to, to deal with. We may have to do some chumping with that Vanguard. Yeah, you got it, Drizzle. You got it. Um, I think I am just going to play the, the Bugler. Yeah, Light at the Stage is a really, really good card. Abzan Bugler. Only two Chupacabras? Yeah, no, it makes sense, I guess. You probably do want all those squires. The squires are a good card. Yeah, like that looks that looks just like a, a good deck. Um Hmm. So what's bodyguard protecting? It's protecting the healer's hawk.
I think I should just play the Temple Garden here, because now I'm just going to play the Bugler. I want to save Lava Coil for, like, a potential um, Benelish Marshal. Yeah, I should have just played the Temple Garden last turn. Or, like, this turn. If, if you can't use a wild card on a card, that's a glitch that just happens randomly sometimes. Just close out your program, re reopen it, and you'll be good to go. Hey, happy Saturday. A Spells Matter Azorius Angels deck. Okay. Um, I, have, I have not thought about a deck like that at all. Um, yeah, so I, I have not thought about a Spells Matter Azorius Angels deck at all. I don't really know what would go in that. Four, eight, nine. So they need one more. One more land and, or just one more permanent, really, and the the aspirant's gonna have flying. Okay, and now Wild Growth Walker checks the Adanto Vanguard, so we're good there. Hey, nanny, welcome. There you go. Thanks, Surf. All right, Mardu Angels. Hmm. So much for Wild Growth Walker checking the Vanguard. I'm just I'm gonna be blocking the Vanguard with the Jade Light Ranger if they attack here this turn, which they did not. Let's go. Definitely playing Vivian, and I think I'm just destroying the Sky Marcher Aspirant. How this thing goes is up to you. Draw and fire. Hey, we got Stomping Ground. First time playing a Stomping Ground, right there. Right there, that was the first one. Have you played the deck at all yet, Zerf? <laughs> Ground status? Stomped. I, I don't know what's blue for our opponent yet. Um, you know, this is game one, so we haven't seen any, any blue cards yet. Alright, so we're going to make that block. And then we take four, go to seven. I think that's okay. Okay, you're losing to aggro decks, okay. No one knows the wilds like I do. Hmm. I just don't need another land, even though Daredevil doesn't really do anything. Just don't need another land. Forces a Danto Vanguard to pay another four life again. All right, so we're at six mana right now. We could go to seven if we want. Six just casts all of our things. Um, I think I would rather activate Growth Chamber's Guardian Adaptability. Make it a four four for the Vanguards. And I'll go grab another one. That's pretty good. It's the first time doing that. And then... Uh, I'll just throw the Daredevil out here. I want to save the Branch Walker. Because I think I'm, I'm likely going to use Vivian to minus and destroy the Tribunal next turn. And then be able to maybe play Branch Walker. So it's going to be like that, huh? I guess not yet. Alright, what you got for us, deck? 
Okay. We're just going to kind of overwhelm our opponent there. All right, so far so good. So I really like Knight of Autumn and definitely and Clarion here. Adanta Vanguard, of course, is kind of a problem. Could have Spyglass for that, but I don't think it's that big of a problem. So Daredevil's coming on out. And... I certainly wanted Llanowar Elves in here. Llanowar Elves is like the last cut to have Wild Growth Walker in the deck. Um, it's hard. It, it feels kind of bad not playing Llanowar Elves, but I like everything else in the deck. We need to have a, a really high density of Militia Bugler hits that are good to make that card work and things like that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to play Rhythm of the Wild. I'm, I don't want to take... I mean, this is not... It's it's a terrible top deck in this kind of matchup, and this is not the kind of matchup where you can just take turn three off and just play a Rhythm of the Wild and expect to survive. Like, that's... We can't play that card. That's why this card's in the sideboard. Um, I'm going to take out one of Johnny. I'm going to take out Bugler. And a Vivian. I take out two Vivians with Knight of Autumns, all these Knight of Autumns in the deck there. Uh, our Vivian impressions, basically. Well, this hand has a lot of potential. Yeah, I could try Incubation Druid. I like that card. Um, I do like in Incubation Druid. It's tough. There's so many. There's so many cards that could fit in this kind of deck, and we only have room for only have room for sixty. Punts only has one land, which of course looks really good for us. Um, never mind, they got two. Yud with the resub. Thank you so much, Yud. It says, best MTG streamer. No one participates that much with their followers. Thank you for the great job and effort. Well, thank you so much, Yud. All right, that's third sub already on the day. I've, I've been certainly enjoying the new set in Limited. That's that's what I've mostly been playing. This is my first play in Constructed now. Uh, the last two days I've played lots of Sealed and then Draft. And got a, you know, got a whole lot of cards. Opened tons of packs from like from the rewards with Drafting and, and Sealed and stuff. And with the new changes that um, allows for... Um, The changes that allow us, like, whenever you open up packs, you can't open up duplicates. Um, it's certainly a lot fast, easier to get most of the cards. And so between uh, wild cards and what I already have, I can basically already get into having almost everything in the set after just two days. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and coil now. We'll coil this pride mate. Things getting a little too big. Yep, mythics. I've I've done pretty well opening the mythics, and I actually had I had like nine mythic wild cards going in that I just didn't have that I hadn't used from before. So I have lots of mythic wild cards. Socrates, hey. Um, probably attack. Reasonable attack. They get to attack and flip landing. Nah. We don't need to attack. I have to say, I do like this Growth Chamber Guardian, though. I think this is a nice upgrade. <laughs> Thanks, Socrates. 
Ooh. It's kind of tough. Like, I want to destroy the history, but I also want to get my Wild Growth Walker back. Probably getting my Wild Growth Walker back is more important. Making any attacks yet? Throw this 3 2 at him. We'll throw that 3 2 at him. I guess I got this Tristani that's about to pump up my Jade Light. Maybe I should just wait. Oh, cool. He took it. Any brews coming today? Yeah. Well, this is our first one. Just an update of Naya value. We got a donation deck to play Marty Angels up next. We'll have two more decks after that. We're playing four decks today. And... I think I need some water. Um, but I'm not sure what our other two decks are going to be yet. Um, so we'll kind of we'll see. So yeah, we'll probably be brewing some stuff up. A little later on a stream here. Yep, definitely Tristani time. Bank control is insane. You should try it. Yeah, that just the like the Bant extra turn deck. I think that's a real popular deck. All right, we gotta gotta get rid of this a Johnny's Pride mate. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, net man. I think I'm gonna make a. I think we're gonna make like maybe a Mardu Ar Aristocrats deck, maybe. Keep that Deafening Clarion right where it's at. I think we'll keep it right there. <laughs> hey, Mass. You should be What'd you come into? Come Us so winning. It's exactly what you came into. Seeing yourself. What Biogenic see. Ooze, Simic Ascendancy, and Quasi Duplicate. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. We can take up a Johnny on the Growth Chamber Guardian to to trigger it. But I want to keep this Deafening Clarion on here, so I don't want to trigger the Gro Growth Chamber Guardian yet. D don't kill a pony yet. Got to find out what the blues for. Oh, there you go. All right, we figured out what the blues for. It's for Dovin. It's hard to be a genius choice. surrounded by lesser minds. <laughs> wow. Dovin's lines are pretty. Are very like I don't know self-centered. Yeah, opponents just making this attack because they know about the deafening clarion coming up. All right, so five four in front of two two, five four in front of two two, three three in front of two two. Yeah, they're they're dead. All their stuff gonna die. No, we'll be playing four decks. I don't know what the other two decks are gonna be yet. We're gonna be building them on stream. I, I don't know what we're gonna make yet. Unfortunately, the rewards for our event have, have gone down, but that's okay with how easier it is to get a collection and everything. I think that's probably an okay change. The card rewards are just kind of a bonus anyway. The The gold is like the real real thing. 
Hmm. Try refreshing your stream program. I think if you reset or refresh, then maybe it'll come up as like an option to say that you resub. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian feeling pretty good so far. R actually pretty filled out, Mass, uh, in just two days. Um, pretty, f pretty filled out. Uh, yeah, it's certainly easier to get the cards with how all the packs you open um, don't add towards them. Kane Rule with the sub. Welcome, Kane Rule. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and Jade Light, even though we just drew the Wild Red Walker. There we go, Program 9. And Kea is also with our sixth sub. Let's get a lot of hype for our three subs right here. We got Kane Rule, Program, Chaos. All kind of back to back here. That gets to six out of ten. So we're we're gonna be cracking open a pack of Ravnica Allegiance after this uh, game here. Hey, feature. So I went 6-3 in my first sealed, 4-3 in my second. Second sealed had so much fun, made the deck around high alert. There you go. That's awesome. I Yesterday I was doing some drafts, and I actually did like pretty well drafting. Um, drafts cost a lot at 1,500 gems, and they, unlike sealed, if you don't do good in the drafts, you get basically nothing. Uh, so it, they're they're kind of high risk, high reward, though. But if you get if you get five wins in draft, which I did, which I did twice, um, I think two of like four drafts, got five wins you get 2100 gems so you gain 600 gems and you get six packs so that's a lot of packs open up towards wild cards um should have played aurelia here i should have played aurelia Yeah, so it's it's really really good value if you win, but but the floor is really low. Like if you if you just go o o two, you just get like two packs. So like your fifteen hundred gems, you just got your draft plus two packs. You have to go three two to make your fifteen hundred gems back, I think. That sounds right. So this is the kind of deck that we're going to be bringing in all of our Rhythm of the Wilds against to make our creatures not be able to be countered. The auto tap wants to use all my green sources all the time. Honestly, the limited is very efficient with gems. It really is. Um, not 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 the the traditional draft that's two out of three. That one's not. But sealed and sealed and uh, the other draft. Those are those are definitely very efficient with gems. For building a collection, it's actually they're actually really good value. The single game draft and uh, sealed. 
usually it's not like that. You know, like with Magic Online, it's not like that. Uh, Paper Magic, it's not like that. Usually playing limited, you know, you do it because it's so much fun, but it's not, you know, really good value. So that's so that's kind of weird. They surveilled over another counter spell. You would think they would just be happy with another counter spell, but I, I guess not. All right, so let's go ahead and growth chamber guardian. That resolved. Adapt. Nice. Go grab another one. Good point. Dr. Hutch says it's a lot easier to make that true when there isn't a secondary market. It's a fair point. Um. Hmm. So I could I could Daredevil and just get Sinister Sabotage and attack. They go down to like if they play like a settle or something like that, we get to counter it. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack. Right, they're just going to one anyway. Gonna take up, try to find settle. Alright, so we got game one. Alright, yeah. Oh, I guess no, because yeah, Deafening Clarion doesn't help them. They have to draw settle, but then I can just Daredevil and have sabotage, so I can counter a settle. Alright. Game went to us. So let's get these rhythm, rhythm of the wild. Um and they had a lot of or they had seal aways. Let's get these Knight of Autumns in, Spyglass as well. Uh, Aurelia comes out. Walker comes out. Lava Coil out. That looks pretty good here. I think I only want Cindervine against... I don't think I want Cindervine in this matchup. I feel like I want it just against the Nexus of Fate deck. Maybe I don't even want it there. I guess I'd have to take out like Daredevil for it. It's good against burn decks. Why is that? Just for like the disenchant effect? Oh, I guess the non creature creature thing, like if you're trying to race. So far, our deck has looked really good. We have been uh, in a commanding position in all three games so far. Stomping around has been real good. Yeah, I don't see too much <laughs> Thousand Year Storm around. Um, just playing the Daredevil to kind of help us curve out. I wouldn't mind drawing a Rhythm of the Wild here. Of course, Rhythm of the Wild probably just gets countered. Our opponent's keeping that one. I'm just going to play a Johnny, even though it doesn't do anything.
I think that's better than playing Knight of Autumn as a 4-3. Hmm, never mind. Get a branch walker and play. I'll go ahead and keep the Tristani, because I feel like the first Tristani is going to get countered anyway, so we'll have two there. Yeah, even if we would resolve it at Johnny and just have it on the battlefield, our opponent would likely just have a Teferi for it. And there you go, speaking of Teferi. If you do know what, I'm not done yet. So I could play a Johnny to play around Syncopate, or I don't play around Syncopate and just play Tristani. This could of course also get scattered. Okay. Resolved. The six co cost black white enchantment deals with a Johnny ult pretty well. That's true. Yeah. You'd have to have something else to pump him up, like a Tristani or something. My only answer to Niv Mizzet is Vivian, so I'd love to draw Vivian here. It's it's hard to beat Jeskai when they when they do curve out. Um when they do curve out with Teferi into Niv Mizzet, like after countering, you know, counter spell, counter spell, Teferi Niv Mizzet. We saw like the first game where they didn't find Teferi Niv Mizzet. It's a lot easier to beat him then. Um, that's kind of the thing with Jeskai. If they find their their win conditions early and get them get to play them early and and protect them, that's how they win. Well, we're gonna be branch walking. Let's try to scry land at the top. Isn't the ideal hand, but that's kind of what happens when you have six cards. <laughs> We're supposed to just play the new Sphinx. I would hate to have the new Sphinx in my hand here. Alright, we're on the play so they don't get to syncopate our two drop. That's certainly a win for us. Oh, we are 1-0 right now with my value. Forgot to update our record th this whole time. Alright, and Branch Walker is a 3-2. It's going to attack a little better now. Hmm. Could certainly be a deafening Clarion to, to clean up these two creatures this turn. Um, if that's the case, I'm playing a Johnny and minusing and getting a Branch Walker back into play. No land? Dang. Well, um, let's go ahead and Spyglass and name the treasure map. Let's see what we got going on over here. We got two treasure maps. Okay, and they have a Settle the Wreckage.
but not a Clarion. I can kind of play around Settle the Wreckage. Like they're, they're, looks like they're relying on the treasure map to hit the land drops to be able to get to Dawnbringer. So we're just hoping they don't get land drops to Dawnbringer because I can't beat Dawnbringer. And our opponent did not even keep Syncopate up, which is great for us. I don't know why they would just play the treasure map and not keep up Syncopate. But, you know. Together, we are unstoppable. Deliver us to victory. I'm trying to make one creature bigger uh, because of because of Clarion, but I guess it's not going to really matter if they have. They kind of just need Clarion here. I guess they, they have Saddle the Wreckage, though. They're trying to activate Treasure Map. I, I named Treasure Map, right? Yeah. Like, they're trying to activate the other treasure map. Like, the other one would have worked or something. Alright, good job, Spyglass. Way to go. Really just good Good job, Merfolk Branchwalker, of course, also. Merfolk Branchwalker. Really getting there. <laughs> Gotta keep clicking. Power through it. Alright, we're at 2-0. Hey, Haishin. Hey. Mana abilities are things that produce mana. You know, like tapping a land is a mana ability where you tap a land and add a mana to your mana pool. So basically, when you add mana to your mana pool, those are mana abilities. Things that cost mana to activate them, those are not mana abilities. That's, that's not what a mana ability means. It's when you add mana to the mana pool. All right, we're playing against Golgari with our Wild Growth Walkers. <laughs> Teferi plus one it basically is a mana ability if you really think about it. Oh, come on, land. Let's just get this land so we can play a Johnny next turn. Come on, deck. Get this land here. Just played against a mono red burn deck. They sideboarded in Star of Extinction and was able to cast it. See, that's that's good sideboarding right there. Okay. Now we only need one more land for Vivian. I am proud to fight again. Trying to teach myself magic. My first hurdle is trying to figure out where the heck is my mana pool. <laughs> Ugh. Opponent's just killing all our stuff. Infinite removal. Alright, I'm just gonna Chupacabra them back. Um, I don't want to just play Wild Growth Walker and they have another removal and like attack a Johnny. Let's just. Let's just re Chupacabra them. Certainly would really like to draw a land and be able to play Vivian. That's what I wanted to do last turn also. But getting Vivian out early is quite important. Hmm. Finality is a huge tr huge problem. Will lend you my strength. Yeah, I think we'll probably make a Judith deck. If if not today, then tomorrow tomorrow for sure. If not today, I only have two decks right now. We have this deck, and then we have Mardu Angels um, as a donation deck. I haven't really didn't really have a lineup for today, so like. We're gonna be we're gonna be building two more decks after these. Um, I 
All right, so they they just want to cast find and not finality, which that's okay with me. They can cast find. Finality is a little tougher for me, which is why I only played the one wild growth walker there, so I don't want to play two into finality. We're just never gonna have lands. Hey Suzu, good evening. Yeah, no big ooze in the deck. We had it in the deck for a while, but ended up cutting it. Strength is born of struggle. Why do they just want their creatures to be dead? They just have another find finality, I guess? Oh, they just haven't a finality. Huh. So they don't want to cast find there, I guess. Interesting, interesting. Well, let's just go ahead and play growth chamber plus growth chamber. I'll go growth chamber plus wild growth. And we'll just stick up on these. I don't think that they're going to actually... I don't think they're actually going to stop this Ajani from ultimating. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's really neat with like the Guardian. That's really cool. Love Guardian and plus Ajani. I guess that's a thing. I will not be moved. Wonder if we'll ever draw this fifth land. Doesn't seem like it. Hey, there's fifth land. Found it. You are capable of more than you assume. Which I should have ticked up first before um, exploring. So that was bad sequencing on my part, but not not punished. No, don't contempt my Johnny. So I guess I just, I'm not going to play Vivian yet, because I don't want them to contend to Vivian. So we'll play Tristani next turn. Hmm. I could see them contempting Tristani also, which I wouldn't really care too much about. See in yourself what I see in you. And then I am getting um, Tristani above finality. All right, that that'll do it. So I don't really have anything in the sideboard for this matchup. So, yep, looks like we're just gonna kind of hit submit. I think. Don't really have anything against, like, Carnage Tyrant and stuff like that. Eh. I'm not so sure about the rhythm. A lot of my creatures will, will still die to finality, even with rhythm in play. The hard... Finality and Carnage Tyrant are things that are difficult, especially if they if they play Carnage Tyrant first and then Finality. 
That's how we lose. Rhythm Growth Guardian is a nice sim synergy. That is. Tilt. If only we could get that Growth Guardian back somehow. Thanks, Press Any. Yeah. Growth Guardian's a, a really nice upgrade to the deck. Chupacabra. Um, let's have a little bit of an awkward turn here. The thing, if they have Vivian next turn, that that would be a huge problem for me if they have Vivian next turn. That will be a real big problem. Okay. I like Aurelia. Aurelia, of course, is not good against Vivian, but thankfully they did not have Vivian last turn. Of course, it could be that they just... Uh, had the Memorial of Folly was their only land, and they'll still have Vivian. Which could be bad for us. Their plan just find finality again. Or, I know they have the memorial to folly if they want the chupacabra dead. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I really like that how I blocked with that Jade Light Ranger, honestly. The more I think about it. I don't think I necessarily should have. It makes my Ajani worse of like being able to play it. And tick up. So if they do have find finality, okay good. And say that's that's the card I want to Daredevil. I want to Daredevil find and get my creatures back with fine finality as well. So right now I'm at seven mana. Daredevil find is four. I can get Jade Light, Jade Light. I think I want to save Growth Chamber for a Johnny. I could just play Tristani also. Now let's let's do this. Hey Dovsky, yeah, doing really good. Let's get Aurelia Jade Light. Hmm. Oh, bugler jade light. Yeah. 
Daredevil real good. So that one Daredevil drew us a Jade Light Ranger, a, a Bugler, a Temple Garden, and a Temple Garden. Oh, wow. That's an early contempt. But only has one card left in hand. Hmm. So we're at seven mana right now. We'll just go Branch Walker plus Tristani. Well, again, they can have finality and, and get back into it with that. So that's what I'm saying. But then, of course, with finality, we'll just Daredevil find and get our creatures back. DD stands for donation deck. So we had a donation deck for the Mardu Angels up next. I'm not sure, Gaza, honestly. Honestly, not sure how it'll hold up for the next so expansion. I just, I you know, this is my the first league here my in Ravnica Allegiance standard. I don't have like a a huge grasp on the format yet. From what it sounds like, I thought I was going to be playing against a lot of mono red or you know like Rakdos like that and uh, Turbo Fog, and we haven't seen either of those decks yet. We've just kind of seen some. Like the same decks from before. We've seen basically Mono White, Jeskai, and Golgari have been the three decks we've played so far. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and contempt the Vivian. And go ahead and Bugler. All right, that's it. Opponent's done. I have not gotten new emotes yet. No, it'll take a little bit of time. Haven't gotten them yet. All right, we are three and zero. Dude, this growth chamber guardian is is really a nice upgrade for this deck. So we're, I am playing four decks today, like normal, and tomorrow we're doing we're doing the twelve hour stream because of getting the the new emote slot. So we're doing a twelve hour stream tomorrow from eleven to eleven, where we're gonna be playing lots of standard. Today I'm playing four decks. I uh, just haven't built the other two decks yet. We'll be able to, we're gonna build them on stream here with y'all. We'll kind of see what we want to play uh, at the time. Get some experience here with. Naya value then Mardu Angels up next. Do you think Hero of Precinct One could be the next young Pyromancer in standard? Could be better than Young Pyromancer in Standard. Young Pyromancer didn't see much play at all in standard. It could be better. Unfortunately, oh, why didn't I just play this Guardian last turn? Did I just have two mana last turn? I think I did. Yeah, I did, because I didn't shock in. I had a shock land here. I should have shocked and played that last turn. Oh, well. We wouldn't have had anything to play really this turn anyway. Hmm. Gotta be a little worried about Ritual of Soot. But, oh well. Okay. So I'm going to ditch the bugler right now. I know Vivian costs the most, but Vivian's also just like our, our best card if we can get there. Good, not another Nicol Bolas. We couldn't handle couldn't handle the second one. 
Why doesn't replicate keep the plus one plus one tokens? I think replicate is a clone, and yet whenever you clone a card, like you know, whenever you copy it. Wow, our twenty-five land deck is not liking us. You do not get to um, copy counters. Counters don't transfer to the card. You just get like the the card. Okay, Hank. Yeah, the the deck that I have here, this is a donation deck, so the Mardu Angels is not a deck that I put together. I'm not sure what you mean by the normal queue. Alright, let's see what they got for removal here. Electro dominance for four at me. Okay. And then ritual of set. It's pretty strong. And it's strong to quite strong. If we get lots of mana, we can maybe daredevil, like later in the game, darede daredevil electro dominance them. Wow. Uh, can't really handle any of these. Do you have a way to deal with this over here? Hmm. Our kinship ensures our victory. Heal. So they get five two twos. Gotta hope these can end the game. <clears throat> Those do not end the game. Alright, so we saw Search for Canta and Captive Audience. And yeah, I couldn't even get to Vivian there. So if we get Knight of Autumns in, we can. Bring those in, take Wild Growth Walker out. That's a good trade for us there. Do we want Cinder Vines? Over what, Aurelia? Maybe I don't need all four Night of Autumns. I need like two Night of Autumn, two Cinder Vine. What do you think of this Rhythm of the Wild? They're going to have their like sorcery speed. They're going to want one, one Rhythm over an Ajani. Maybe two Rhythms over two Ajani's. No, another Rhythm over an Aurelia. Let's go with that. Let me take one of these coils out. 
take a coil out and put Aurelia back in. No, put a Johnny back in. All right, here we go. I mean, yeah, rhythms in our sideboard. I don't, I don't absolutely love the card, but I, I like it against decks with sorcery speed sweepers. This is standard. Alright, we get to actually hit our third land drop this time. We so lucky. Get a fourth land. Um... I may play some best of three ranked. Maybe. Also, maybe not. So they took Rhythm of the Wild, which is pretty good for me. Next turn, we get to. Uh, we can Daredevil their Thought er They didn't take Daredevil, so we get to Daredevil their Thought Erasure. And. Yeah, we can. Yeah, Daredevil Thought Erasure is pretty nice. And then we get to Surveil, try to find a, a fifth land for Tristani. Alright, no Ritual of Soot. So, like, Nicol Bolas, I guess, is the best card that they have. They don't have two red. In play. Now they do. Alright, come on, land. Dilt. Where are these lands at? Still. That would of course be pretty unfortunate if... It would be pretty unfortunate if they did uh, just draw a ritual set here. Yeah, like Dream Meter is not going to save them. Electro dominance into it had to be like yeah it just has to be ritual set. There we go. So they're playing Disinformation Campaign as well. I've seen a whole lot of enchantments from them. Kind of play more Knight of Autumns. Hadana's Climb with Growth Chamber. Yeah, that's a, those are definitely two really good cards together for sure. Um, Growth Chamber is a great card in Stompy. Um, alright, let's keep this the same. Just kind of making that one change, taking out the Aurelia for a Knight of Autumn. Yeah, Growth Chamber just fits in... You know, it's kind of like Daylight Ranger. It just can fit in so many decks. It just fits everywhere. 
Good two drops are good. All right, we got the our new enchantments. Let's let's try them out. Let's see if they're any good. Cindervine, then Rhythm of the Wild. See what our opponent wants to take here. Cindervine's down. All right. That's good for us. And a Dream Eater out of the way. That's also good for us. Cindervine's is like, you know, objectively one of the weaker cards in my hand. Um, so I, I don't really mind that. And there goes Rhythm. So Guardian's real good here because, you know, like we can just adapt it next turn. If they kill it, we can play a, Mo a Johnny and get it back. Nice. I think Domri, you, you certainly want to be an aggressive deck with Domri. It's not very good when you're behind. Uh, you certainly want to be a pretty aggressive deck with the card. Huh. I'm gonna get a Johnny on the battlefield while I can. It is good to see you be strong. I feel like by playing the Searcher's Canta into my Knight of Autumn here, I feel like they wanted me to play Knight of Autumn, destroy their Escanta, and then they play Ritual of Soot or Cry of the Carnarium. They play a Sweeper and get rid of my two creatures. Um, especially if it's Cry that exiles my creature. Thanks, Foxy. All right, and they could potentially, um, lend you my strength. They could potentially have flipped as Kanta there. Certainly thought it was the best option to destroy that now. Alright, let's see. Even though I'm extending more into a Ritual of Soot, um... Jade Light draws land, so that was the that was the perfect Jade Light drawing two lands. That was just the perfect Jade Light. <laughs> Alright, well they're down to two cards. And we still have a lot of value in our hand. Uh, looks like they may they're thinking about field of ruin maybe. I'm doing this right now because I don't think that they'll have um, an instant speed removal spell for it. They could ha they could have had moment of craving or cast down, but with them like not using it before, I I didn't think they'd have it. So you know, I'm just playing an another threat that replaces itself there with the growth chamber guardian. All right, well, they got to have something for this. This is a 4-4. A four, four. They're, they're at 3. All right. The Arctic is sweet. We'll just grind through Grixis, and we just have 
six cards left. All right, let's get a land here to just go and play the branch walker. No, flower, no, flower is a multicolor spell. So yeah, it will flower would trigger hero of precinct one. All right, Growth Chamber Guardian has been great in the deck so far. We are 4-0. And so right now we're at still the same amount of gold, but now just one rare, two uncommon still. And this is two rares, one uncommon. Yeah, so they basically took a rare out of all those things, all those slots. It's a little worse for me, of course. That's definitely a little worse, but oh well. All right, let's. This is final boss time. We are four and zero. Oh, can we get that five zero? Oh? Final boss time. This hand looks great. We have really been struggling with final bosses recently. Um, but I'm feeling good about this one. Probably because we have a really good hand. Alright, so we're playing against some kind of counterspell heavy control deck. Which should be good for our Rhythm of the Wilds in the sideboard. And potentially Cinder Vines. Blue red control. Alright. Let's go with another Branch Walker. I feel like this is just another counter spell. And I'd rather Branch Walker get countered than Jade Light Ranger. Nice arc. Being 4 0 and sealed right now. Awesome. No, the ICRs cannot give you a fifth copy. If if it would be a fifth copy, it gets you gives you gems instead. Uh, the the ICRs do not um, they do not change to like a, a different rare of the same set kind of thing. All right, if we're going another counter, Bugler is the card I would like to get countered. Um. Hmm, I guess I'll just take Branch Walker. I do kind of like Daredevil. I'll just take Branch Walker, though. No Teferi, please. As long as it's not Teferi, we're good. Just don't play a Teferi here. We can outgrind what they got, but Teferi is hard to outgrind. That's fine, that's not Teferi. Oh, Growth Chamber Guardian has been amazing. Love the card. Hmm. Uh... Daredevil only gets like these counter spells, and so we'd only be able to use those counter spells on our turn right now. They'd have to play something like a Chemist's Insight uh, to make Daredevil useful. If they're, you know, if they're just playing like sweepers and counter magic, Daredevil's not going to help out there.
All right, Duterstat. Dude, you got Mythic and Constructed? That is, that is a feel-good. Way to go. That's awesome. Um... Alright, that adapt happened pretty quickly. Do they have another negate? Ah, disdainful stroke is their last card. Well, at least we didn't let them activate their memorial to genius this turn. I wanted to act. I wanted to adapt the growth chamber guardian before, uh, before attacking because of like a seal away. And I wanted to do it before a Johnny because you know we could. You can't adapt once you have, once you put a counter on with a Johnny. Oh, don't be Teferi. Alright, well, Ral's also kind of a problem. Whoa, Zerf gifting out four subs. Getting us to ten on the day. Thank you, Zerf. So we are up to... Up to ten, so that means another pack. Oh, we didn't open up the pack the first time. So we have two packs to open now. I forgot to go get the pack for the last one. That gets some hype in the chat. Congratulations, player, Spanky Dota, Depolio, and Tronic. We're getting decisions. some free subs courtesy of Zerf. Alright, so they ticked up and they took some card over a planes. Send some attackers, Ral's way. Ugh. Uh, Nexus of Fate. Do I think it's gonna get banned? No, I don't think so. Come on, breathe through it. it. Certainly could, but I don't see that happening right now. Hopefully they don't find a sweeper. Yeah, the Guardian's been really good. Those are our third and fourth Guardians, though. So we are out of guardians. No more guardians to go find. Search for the unknown. That's real science. All right, so they got something over another land. No sweeper, please. And we'd really like to draw a Vivian Reed. That'd be like one of our best draws. That's a good one. I guess I just play main phase. Could certainly get countered. Um, but if they counter it, that's less mana and cards that they have for removal. Often. Yeah, Watsi announces that if some cards are banned for standard use, yes, um, that's that's a Wizards of the Coast decision. They have certain days throughout the year um, that they announce 
if there if there would be any changes to the banned and restricted list. And that's that's the one time a year that uh, cards would be would potentially be banned. Um, so like those are the times during the year. The next change to the banned and restricted list, uh, the next announcement for that is on um, Monday. Actually, I, I don't ex expect anything to happen at all in standard. I'd be very shocked if it was. Huh. Um, I'm shocked to discover I lost. We we just came through a time over the last two years uh, where standard was not very good, and there was a, there was a lot of cards banned. Um, I guess I think six. That sounds like about the number of cards that have been banned in standard. Um, previously before that, there were. It's very rare that cards get banned. Cards hadn't been banned in around 10 years before that. Lots and lots of enchantments for our opponent. We have lots of enchantment removal in our sideboard. So I'm, I'm liking our sideboard of games here. We're kind of flooding out here. Haven't drawn like a Vivian, which have been like awesome here, but... Modern, I'm not sure about. I could, I could honestly see something happening in modern. I could, I could honestly see something from KCI getting banned. Um, I could also see nothing happening though. I, I could see it, you know, it's like kind of 50-50-ish. Hold that! I can no longer stand in my opinion. By I could watch. see it either way. Hardly my worst defeat. It's not very often that anything does get banned or unbanned. Um, it's it's something that basically you just shouldn't expect, kind of most of the time, unless something's just a really obvious problem. Um, because there's a real cost in, in banning cards. You know, like people purchase cards to play them, and people have their deck that they want to play, and just telling them, "Hey, you can't play your deck anymore," is pretty tough. It's it's a real cost, and so only like really bannings only really happen um in extreme circumstances so i wouldn't uh i don't expect don't expect it very often let's skip to trust me you'll thank me later i think nexus is the card that would that would get banned if a card's going to get banned not not search for Escanta or Teferi. Because Nexus of Fate isn't even in a standard set. It's just a... Uh, it's just, you know, a, a promo card, basically, they printed. They'd be like, hey, we messed up on this promo card. Sorry, kind of thing. Um, you know, in paper, they just have, like, that... Just, like, that foil buy a box copy. I think that would be the card that, that would get banned if, if something would get banned from that. But, I like I said, like, I don't expect that to happen at all. Um, yeah. Um. Whoops. Wrong. Wrong cards. Uh. Get Jade Light back in here. I want Cinder Vines, Rhythm, Knight, Spyglass. So I do have. You know, like eleven cards. Whoops. I do have like eleven cards. That's coming in here. So all these coils are out, all these wild growth walkers are out. Um these Aurelias are out. The Daredevils are out. And that gets me to sixty. We didn't see anything like really that good to Daredevil. They had like opt, which is fine, but just gonna go ahead and, and trim it. Well, my deck's going to be a lot better now after Cyborg and Mr. Nobody. That's the thing about, you know, that's that's the whole problem with just best of one magic is, you you know, playing mid-range decks, 
you're not going to have like a good deck to beat aggro and control at the same time. Will Doc, I'm not sure. So, okay, so you want me to do a list, you know, after after playing for a while of the must craft cards. There's not really must craft cards in in Magic because depending on what deck you want to play, you know that that changes a whole lot. You know, I could say like Teferi is a must must craft card because it's, you know, it's just incredibly incredibly good and has like archetypes built around it kind of thing but if you don't want to play you know a blue eye control deck you don't need to craft a fairy so it's it's something that's something that's different for for every single person so i don't think that's a would be a too useful of a list kind of thing Yeah, I know you were talking about the the new expansion, but I, I was just using Teferi as an example. But I know you were talking about the new expansion. But um, oh gosh, we didn't get to our third land for these Jade Light Rangers. That's tough. But yeah, lands are certainly really important. Getting all the dual lands, which is which is really annoying. They're like they're kind of hard to get, and they take tons of rare wild cards. And you want to use you want to use your rare wild cards on. You know, really fun cards like Growth Chamber Guardians and stuff like that. So it is really annoying. But they are just quite important. Okay. So our options are either go get another Growth Chamber Guardian, pay three, draw a card draw another growth chamber guardian or just cast J jade light ranger and i'm just going to cast jade light ranger yeah rare yeah so many chats says rare lands are the worst part about mtg that's it's never been a problem except for just specifically uh, magic arena and wild cards and stuff you know, like with paper magic and everything, it's never been anything that's ever been a problem. But it is kind of, we're in just like a a weird corner case scenario where like now having rare lands where you use your rare wild cards for them is, you know, a, an annoying happenstance. So Johnny's not really that good here. Uh, I don't really mind it getting countered though, because it certainly seems like my opponent's going to have a counter spell. Uh, I, I don't really mind the Ajani biting the dust. But it's it's always been something that's increased the value of sets to make booster boxes um, better to buy and sets better to draft and paper and everything. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of weird how with specifically Magic Arena and having rare wild cards that it's annoying that lands are rare. Um, so as, so question is thoughts on the future of MTGO as Magic Online is currently, um, as it's, as it's like, as it currently stands, it doesn't. Uh, seem like there's much potential for Magic Online in the future. However, they had a, a state of the a state of the program announcement for Magic Online in I think late December or early January or something, where they talked about bringing over aspects of Arena to Magic Online, like maybe like being able to bring like Auto Tap system over, maybe also having like uh, animations or a little bit better graphics stuff stuff like that like they may be able to you know adapt magic online um, or evolve I guess evolve magic online and if if they do things like that there's a lot more potential for for it but I also wouldn't be so I would don't want to say it's just necessarily dead but uh, um they're going to have to invest, you know, they're going to have to invest 
in it. And with Arena doing well, I'm not sure if they are going to invest in it. So. The Cinder Vines has been pretty good. I mean, so our opponent's taken, yeah, taking some damage with the Cinder Vines. I'm just trying an improved Orzhov Afterlife deck with Alendra and Tessa and Divine Visitation. What an insane deck, my friend. You should give it a try the next few days. Okay. For Growth Chamber Guardian, um, I kind of just trimmed on some, some stuff. I trimmed, like, the extra... There's always been, like, two... Um... Let's tear this place apart. Sometimes I always had two kind of like flex slots that those both turned into them. I took out like one direfully daredevil for a third one and one of something else. Six damage from Cindervine so far. Okay. think we're still good here. Didn't really see anything to necessarily bring in Daredevil. All right, we're going to game three. Can we finish off the five and zero? Can we defeat the final boss? Ill-gotten Inheritance has been really, really good. That's been a really impressive card. After this, we're going to be playing Mardu Angels, which has been a donation deck for us to, to play up next. Uh, then after that, we're going to have two more decks, but I don't know what, what we're going to make yet. We're going to build some decks here on stream. Uh, you know, after playing these leagues, kind of see what we want to build. So, you know, we'll see what, we, what we're going to do for the other two decks. Ugh, going back down to six. Yeah, I think updating uh, Hadana Snoppy, that, that actually sounds that sounds pretty fun. Um, I I like that idea. Um, Growth Chamber Guardian with Hadana's Climb and also with Zagana in that deck. Kind of make it a 1-1 one -one counter theme. That, sound, that sounds pretty fun. Probably play that. Theater of Horrors also. That's, that's certainly a card I want to play. That's a cool card. I don't have all the cards, um, but I have quite a bit of them. I, I played drafts. I did drafts and stuff yesterday also, and got some more cards and opened a lot of opened a lot of packs from winning drafts. So rhythm Wa the wilds like, hey, we can protect our creatures from getting countered, but then it whoa, I was gonna say, but then it just gets countered itself. So, but it did not get countered. That's why. That's why I did not get countered. We figured it out. Hmm. Does Rally to Battle take your creatures out of combat if you try to use it as an offensive trick? Do not fear, my friend. Do creatures do damage when they untap? Does rally to Battle? Of to, more than you let me take a look at that card real quick. I'm not exactly sure what that card does. Rally to Battle. Creatures control get plus one plus three until end of turn untap them. Yes, they still deal damage. Yeah, they just untap and everything, but yeah, they're they're still 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 dealing all of their damage. Uh oh. Dawnbringer is a huge problem. Have nothing for this Dawnbringer. And they have another Dawnbringer also.
Oh, we need to draw Vivian. Vivian's our our card that can deal with the flyer. All right, no Vivian out of those four. That's that's good for us to see. Look how far you have come. That's kind of been a a problem with my sideboard plan is between Lyra and Niv Mizzet, I just don't have very many answers for them at all. And like if if my opponents the games my opponents had Lyra or Niv Mizzet, I just lose. I'm becoming irritated. Yeah, you still yeah you pay the mana to to cast the exile cards with theater. Yes. Spyglass stops uh, activate abilities from happening, so Ral is at Viceroy doesn't do anything with the Spyglass on the battlefield. Um, Legion's Landing doesn't play very well with a lot of the deck. We need a, an abundance of creatures for M Militia Bugler. And Legion's Landing is not a creature. It makes a creature token, but it's not a creature. Strength. Is born the problem struggle. is even if I even if I do draw a Vivian, they just have a, a second Dawnbringer they get to play. Which is, which is rough. I hope you find your path. No counter spell. All right, good. Last card's not a counter spell. So our plan is just to race Dawnbringer. That's our plan, I suppose. Um, think because of the Ajani, uh, this militia bugler is bigger. So if they want to sit back on D, we get to attack with the bugler. Yeah, I could certainly have binding for those cards. I like binding more than other things. Am I attacking with Tristani as well? Yeah. If they have seal away, I'm just gonna knight. I'll be able to knight of autumn seal away, so it's fine. Not sure if I should just be casting the Night of Autumn. Okay, if I attack, all right. So I, I I'm thinking their card is just a blank in hand. So it certainly seemed like if I attack with everything, they block five four. They gain 5, go to 15, take 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Maybe I should just play that Knight of Autumn. I could just simply attack with Bugler. They go down to 5. I don't lose any creatures. If they block Tristani... Okay, actually, them blocking Tristani is kind of a nightmare. So I'll just attack with Bugler. Zerf with another donation. All right, we got another donation deck. That's right, for $20, you can also donate. If you'd like to see me play your deck here on stream, $20 donation, and I'm playing your deck. All right, so Legendary Jeskai. So I'd like to see your thoughts and updates for Legendary Jeskai. So now they go to 10. And then we have Like a Zoe with the sub. Let's get some hype votes in the chat for our new subscriber sub number 11 on the day. Thank you so much for that support. All right, Zerf. I'm gonna I'm gonna have Legendary Jeskai tomorrow. Ugh. 
I'm going to make two other decks for our other decks today, but that that's going to be one of our decks in our 12-hour stream tomorrow. Legendary Jeskai. And I'm going to write that down so I don't forget it. Hawkeye, that was a 5-0. Yeah, our deck is great. We even beat the Lyra Dawnbringer. That Spyglass was, like, secretly, like, really, really important. Because if our opponent had Ral, we were, like, really dead. So we got a Mythic and a Rare, which I guess were, were Mythics and Rares we already owned. So we got 60 Gems, and we got a Random Uncommon. Don't have the 5-0 emote yet. 12-hour stream is at 11. So tomorrow we're going 11 to 11 tomorrow. Nanny with that Twitch prompt sub. Welcome. That's sub number 12. Also, we're getting two packs here for getting to our first two sub goals. We did that a little bit ago, and we hadn't opened the packs up yet. So let's open a couple packs. Pack time. Okay, it's pack time. We're getting two Ravnica Allegiance packs. You want to see the, the deck list? You can see it there. That's the deck list. It should come up. Hmm. Somebody did that like just like a few seconds before you up in the chat. It's it's up in the chat just a little bit if you can scroll up. If not, you have to wait just a, a minute or so. All right. Nanny's our 12th sub. Hawkeye, you're in the way. All right. Change that. Okay, here's our rare. What are we getting? Cinder Vines. Aw. I already like this card. I only played it one time, and it was great. So that's a that's a good open. Cinder Vines MVP. That's why it's our our rare. And Guardian Project. Okay. So there we go. We get three more subscribers. We'll be busting open another pack as well. All right. So, yeah, that deck that was uh, that we just played here was Naya Value. And, yeah, it felt awesome. Uh, Growth Chamber Guardian was a huge upgrade to the deck. Uh, this card was just really, really good. And, yeah, I mean, we only played one league, but it was, it was really, really good. I like it quite a bit. Um, over the sideboard, Cinder Vines was great. Rhythm of the Wild was a nice idea, but, you know, it never, never happened. Our opponents always, like, thought seized it away or countered it or destroyed it. You know, it was, it was a card they were really worried about. That is my third Cinder Vine now. I had, I just, I used wild cards on these two for this deck. Clarion, Knight of Autumn, very good. Um, but yeah, so we need, we need some more ways to take out Flyers. Uh, I only basically just have, like, the three, the three Vivians, so... That's one thing I think I've changed about the sideboard is more ways to take out big flyers. Um, so, so there we go. All right, Yud, take care. All right, if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.